The sun is shining on the Salmon Creek Little League fields, but it's kind of a dark time for the organization. We had a riding lawnmower taken and a push lawnmower. We've talked to Melanie Heaton before. She is a girls softball coach and serves in leadership on the volunteer run Little League. Her two kids play and her husband and son both help maintain the fields. Heaton says to replace the stolen John Deere riding mower, which you see here, will cost more than $8,000. We have um, just shy of 400 kids that play softball and baseball out here, which is huge. <laughs> So we rely on this equipment. We use it to help get these fields prepped all over for these kids to play. And I don't know how we're gonna do it now. They've got new tougher locks now on the containers where the riding mower and push mower were stored. So who broke in and took them? Thanks to neighbors' security cameras, there are clues. This video shows a black Dodge Ram pickup truck pulling a black trailer in the time frame the gear was stolen. Same with the pictures, taken just after 7 a.m. on April 12th. They show a man and woman connected to the truck. A neighbor notified the Heatons that morning who got there just after the black truck left. So it's really frustrating. But at the same time, again, if it wasn't for our community around here watching out for our fields and watching out for our containers, we wouldn't have had any clue. For nine-year-old Jackson, who plays for the Pirates. I'm mostly outfield or third. Uh-huh. How do you like it? Gun. He enjoys the game, but also enjoys helping his dad work the ball fields. And it's really difficult now because now we have to take our own lawnmower down here and do it. That's a lot of slow mowing and not sustainable. But $8,000 to replace the riding mower? The league doesn't have it. I am really frustrated because I feel like not only did they hurt a nonprofit organization that's ran strictly by volunteers, but they stole from these kids. So the hope is either the gear is returned or... Uh, we catch the jerks and then we get our lawnmower back, hopefully.